How's it going? This is Rich Bryan and I work for East Contra Costa Fire Protection District and I'm a firefighter here at Station 52. Uh, kind of going through my day as I start out my shift. Uh, I work a 48 hour shift so I'm here at work for two whole days. So we um, run calls, eat, sleep, live here at the fire station for two days. Um, with that being said, as I come in for my tour or my work shift you can call it, uh, my first thing is I come in out of my vehicle, I bring in some equipment I have at home, uniform, uh, computer stuff, whatever it is I'm bringing here. Uh, so I get that squared away in my dorm, get that uh, dropped off, and then I come up to my uh, locker in the apparatus bay and grab my all my PPE, my personal protective equipment. So my turnout jacket, my bunker pants, my boots, my helmet. Um, and I get that on the engine situated kind of just the way I like it. So when I get into my routine of how I put my gear on, it's all in the same uh, location. I know right where to go. And it just kind of speeds up uh, the process of when I need to put it on uh, at a moment's notice. So. With the PPE also too is I have a, a SCBA pack that I wear when we go to fires anytime there's smoky conditions that allows me to breathe clean fresh air um, for a certain amount of time. So I'm going to check my mask, make sure I have air coming out, uh, check my air level, make sure it's a full tank, all my batteries working and everything's ready to go. So if I need to use that, that's, that's there too. Um, after I finish that up, getting all my stuff situated, checking all my equipment, I'm going to do a quick lap around the engine, open up all the compartments, make sure I see everything that I recognize. Uh, everything I'm familiar with, if there's something new that I need to you know, train on that's there that I, that I didn't know about, or if there's something that's missing that I knew was there a week prior and now it's not there. So um, most important one though is probably our medical equipment, since that's kind of what we do throughout the day is our normal medical calls. Uh, make sure my oxygen level's full, my medications are there. Um, same as my personal equipment, I want to make sure everything's in the same place at the same time, so I know how to use it and where it's at. Uh, from there, I'd probably check and run inside, uh, talk to the guys, see how everything's going, what our plan for the day is, if we have any training, any scheduled public uh, education events, anyone coming by to do a station visit. Uh, you never know how the day's going to go, and all that can be planned out, but it could easily get interrupted with the call. So um, it's good to get a game plan with the guys so we're all on the same page and makes our day run a little smoother. Um, of course, got to get a cup of coffee to start the day out, though. We'll start there, so we're all in the equal levels of caffeination, we'll say. From there, I'm gonna check my mailbox, check my uh, physical mailbox, my email box, um, my PCRs, patient care reports I have to do when I have a medical call. Every patient we have, we have to uh, report what we've done. So make sure I'm all caught up on that. Uh, any training assignments online that we do, I'm gonna look on, on there. From there, if I don't have anything else pressing, nothing going on, I'm looking for something to clean, something to and I start off your 48 hours with a clean station, you know, so usually the crew behind us leaves it pretty clean, but. Maybe they had a busy night, so I'm gonna make sure uh, everything's good to go. Uh, sweep the floors, you know, clean the bathrooms, whatever needs to be done, ice the coolers down, clean the kitchen, so. Uh, maybe get something to eat, I'll uh, cook something up. Sometimes I'm hungry in the morning, other times I'm not too hungry, but uh, get a quick breakfast or lunch, whatever it may be. It's always good to get a wor good workout in. Usually I like to work out for me later on in the day. Um, at least a good hour in the gym, get a good workout, and kind of go from there. It's, it's, it's easy to have a routine, but it's very easy for your routine to get ruined. Um, and I, I say ruined as a, not in a bad way, but as if calls come in, 911 calls, we can have a quiet day or we can have a really busy day where your routine can easily get thrown out the window and you're there doing your job, which is what the reason we're here for in the first place, so that's fine too. But what I find is having a routine, kind of having a schedule throughout the day helps pass the time, you're more productive, and it's just a better all around day for you and your crew. From there, you just see how the day goes and uh, hope for the best.